Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. How you guys doing? I know I gave y'all a new video heads up that's coming soon. That's about my son and I doing the interview about um, talking about what he knows about toxicity, about um, toxic people and people treating you bad. But this video is going to be about something different. And um, I wanted to get this video out today because if I didn't get it out today, I was going to forget and it was never going to get out. And see, the devil wants me to be forgetful so I can't get certain messages across. But I want to read something to y'all. But before we dig in, I need y'all to hit the like button. I need you all to subscribe and share this channel with others and help them to become educated about narcissistic abuse, about narcissism about the behaviors and characteristics of a narcissist, how to get out, how to get away, how to get to safety, how to be able to put yourself in a position to have a new life and find happiness. Let's read. I'm going to read Psalms chapter 35, the entire chapter. All right. And then after I read it, we're going to talk about it. Oh, Lord. Oppose those who oppose me. Fight those who fight against me. Put on your armor and take up your shield. Prepare for battle and come to my aid. Lift up your spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Let me hear you say, I will give you victory. Bring shame and disgrace on those trying to kill me. Turn them back and humiliate those who who want to harm me. Blow them away like shaft in the wind, a wind sent by the angel of the Lord. Make their path dark and slippery. With the angel of the Lord pursuing them, I did them no wrong, but they laid a trap for me. I did them no wrong, but they dug a pit to catch me. So let sudden ruin come upon them. Let them be caught in the trap they set for me. Let them be destroyed in the pit they dug for me. Then I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad because he rescues me. With every bone in my body, I will praise him. Lord, who can compare with you? Who else rescues the helpless from the strong? Who else protects the helpless and the poor from those who rob them? Malicious witnesses testify against me. They accuse me of crimes I know nothing about. Doesn't that sound like the narcissist, y'all? I'm going to keep reading. They repay me evil for good. I am sick with despair. Yet when they were ill, I grieved for them. Don't that sound like the empath who tried to do right by the narcissist? Let's keep reading. I denied myself by fasting for them, but my prayers returned unanswered. I was sad as though they were my friends or family, as if I were grieving for my own mother. But they are glad now that I am in trouble. They gleefully join together against me. I am attacked by people I don't even know. Don't that sound like us? The narcissist that we thought we knew, but we really don't know. Let's keep reading. They slander me constantly. They mock me and call me names. They snarl at me. How long, O oh Lord, will you look on and do nothing? Doesn't that sound like us when we depend on God to fight battles for us and it seems like God is just not doing nothing and it seems like God is just letting us suffer instead of the narcissist or the people who's attacking us or doing us wrong? All right, let's keep reading. Let's see where I left off at. Rescue me from their fierce attacks. Protect my life from these lions. Then I will thank you in front of the great assembly. I will praise you before all the people. Don't let my treacherous enemies rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. 
Don't talk of peace. They plot against innocent people who mind their own business. Don't that sound like the haters that come against us who was in competition with us, but we was never in competition with them? We mind our own business and try to do our own thing while they steadily minding our business. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of what's going on right now. Let's keep reading. They shout, aha, aha, with their own eyes. We saw him do it. Oh, Lord, you know all about this. Do not stay silent. Do not abandon me now, O oh Lord. Wake up. Rise to my defense. Take up my case, my God, my Lord. Declare me not guilty, O oh Lord, my God, for you give justice. Don't let my enemies laugh about me in my troubles. Don't let them say, look, we got what we wanted. Now we will have him alive. Or now we will eat him alive. May those who rejoice at my troubles be humiliated and disgraced. May those who triumph over me be covered with shame and dishonor. But give great joy to those who came to my defense. Let them continually say, great is the Lord who delights in blessing his servant with peace. Then I will proclaim your justice and I will praise you all the day long. So what I just read to y'all was the whole entire chapter of Psalms chapter 35. It keeps seeming like there's something on the side of my face. That's why I keep doing this, but um, I guess my eye is seeing things. Um, yeah, guys, I just think y'all don't understand who y'all truly are, especially those of y'all who are believers and followers of Christ, who are God's children. Y'all really don't understand who you are. I don't even understand who I really am. And I'm just now coming to grips with the fact that I am special. I am a gift. I am on the right side of the coin. I'm on the right side of the of, of war. I'm on the right side of this fight. And I have a whole lot more power than I think I do. And do I wish this on my enemies? No, but do I want to be defeated from my uh of my enemies? No, but do I want to be defended from my enemies? Yes, I want God to defend me. I want God to have my back. I want God to protect me, but I don't wish harm on my enemies. Because if I wish harm on them, harm will come to me. That's just how God works. God is holy. That's why we can't do certain things because God is holy. And if God goes against his own word, that does not make him holy. So don't worry about trying to get revenge um, on the narcissist. God will get the revenge for you. His word says vengeance is mine. So our job is just to release all of our cares, our worries onto him. Our job is to release that all to him and he will take all of that burden, all of that worry, all of that pain, all of that sorrow, all of that disappointment. He will take all of that away for us and he will carry that for us, okay? God will get revenge for us and he can do way more damage than we could ever do. Do you guys understand me? Like God is not playing with our enemies. God is not playing with these people. God is going to make these people pay for what they did to you. He's going to make these people pay for what they did to me. He's going to make these people repay every single move that they made against you times 700. Okay. God has your back more than you can ever fathom, more than you can ever understand or comprehend, more than I can even understand or comprehend. That's why whatever the narcissist does to us, guys, we have to release it to God. We have to take it to the altar and release it to our Heavenly Father. He will back us a thousandfold. You know how they say our money is backed by gold? I don't even know if the American dollar is still backed by gold, but um, we are backed by God. God will back us. And you ain't got to worry about nothing that this narcissist is doing. All the lies they telling on us, all these fake stories that they creating. 
these fake narratives that they didn't created to to protect their 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 fake image that they have to uphold all these uh, facades that they putting on to try to make them seem themselves seem like they something that they're not, you know, the smear campaign that they created against you. Don't even worry about it because whatever smear campaign they created, they basically created that for themselves. The smear campaign they created for you, they created for themselves. Whatever they did to you, it's already done to them. You understand what I'm saying? All the lies they tell, all the chess moves that they make to try to hurt you or to sabotage you or to destroy your character, destroy your name, hurt your feelings, break your heart, break your spirit. All these things that the narcissist tries to do to you, God is going to handle it and they are going to have to pay back everything they've done to you. If you really honestly sit and think about it, guys, this narcissist lives in misery every single day because of karma. That's the name of the game. They wake up every day dealing with their karma. And even if they make it seem like on their social media that they're leaving this great life after you, after they didn't found the new supply, don't even worry about it. It's all a facade. It's all a fake. It's all a ploy. And it's all a lie. It's a deception to lead you to believe that they're doing better after they left you just so they can get you to come back to them. It's all a strategy so they can get you to run back to them so they can start the abuse cycle all over again. And then the next time they have you where they want you, they're going to do it worse than they did the previous time. So don't go back to the narcissist if you left the narcissist or if the narcissist left you. Don't go back to the narc. It's a suicide move. And don't worry about what their family members did to you. They flying monkeys. Don't worry about the lies. None of it. God will handle it for you. This narc is going to have to pay for everything he or she did to you. They about to get it. Do you not understand? They going to get it. They going to get it from God. God is not playing with these people. God ain't playing with them people about his kids. Do you think a mother or a father will let his or her child be in harm's way, be in danger and not do something about it, not retaliate? Think about what we would do as earthly mothers and fathers for our children. That's only a drop in a bucket in comparison to what God would do for his kids. And we are his kids. Us empaths, we are his children. As believers, we are his children. Those of us who have salvation, we are his children. God ain't playing about his kids. This narc is finna get it. This narc is about to get it. So read Psalms chapter 35, the entire chapter. Read it every day. Just to build up your confidence, to build up your faith, to help remove a lot of the resentment that you have, a lot of the revenge that you want to get to remove a lot of the anger that you're carrying in your spirit and your soul. Just read this every day and it'll remove a lot of the resentment, the anger, the you wanting to get revenge and to take all of that away. Because the more you embed this into your mind, the more you will start to understand that God has already got it taken care of. It's already taken care of. It's already done. All you got to do is focus on your life, your goals, your plans, your happiness, live for God, be happy, do you. You ain't got to worry about that narc. You ain't got to worry about they flying monkeys, the smear campaigns, the new supply, none of it. Forget it. Just block that off and put up a wall and move on with your life. Put up a wall, build up a wall and think of them no more. Wish them well. Forgive them. Forgive them. Not for them, but forgive them for you and move on with your life. Now, just because you forgive them, that doesn't mean you have to let them back into your life. That's not what forgiveness means. Forgiveness does not mean that you have to let these people back into your life or this person that hurt you back into your life. Once you forgive them, you release it to God and you move on with your life. You do not let them back in. Because see, the devil, he going to be knocking like this. And when they come knocking at the door like this, 
Don't let them in. Act like they're not even there. Act like you don't even know what they're talking about. Don't open that door for that narc. That's the devil knocking at the door. When that narc comes back to you, hoovering you, that's the devil knocking at the door like this. Knocking at the door. That's the devil. Don't open the door for the devil. Keep him locked out. You don't let the devil back into your life. Once you didn't forgave the person for what they did to you, you it's done. It's over with. You've washed your hands of it. God takes over from there. So I love you guys. I just wanted to share that with y'all, that this video can encourage y'all to give y'all some inspiration to make you feel better, to take away a lot of this anger, a lot of this resentment, a lot of these grudges, a lot of this revenge that you want to get on the narc. This scripture will take all of that away for you. It'll take all of this off, off of your spirit, off of your soul and make you feel lighter. And your body will start to heal once you forgive this narc and move on with your life. Your body will physically start to heal. God's word is that powerful. You will even start to glow and look prettier and shinier too. Like all of this demonic energy will just leave your body. It'll leave you. So I love you guys. I see you guys in the next video. Peace and blessings to you all. Later.